Hello and welcome to this week's LCS Power Rankings. Um, I'm going to do my best. I know multiple teams don't have their full rosters out. I will account for that in here the best I can. Um, nevertheless, let's get started. Uh, this, I mean, I'm not doing them any favors because clearly they don't have their whole roster out right now. But Golden Guardians did not look very good. Um, losing to Cloud 9 and 100 Thieves. I mean, losing to 100 Thieves, okay, uh, that's a full roster, understandable. Um, FlyQuest is in your wheelhouse. Even the team that they're fielding right now, their academy roster, has multiple players that have LCS experience. They should be able to compete, so I'm not giving them a pass on that. Um, against Cloud9, three of Cloud9's members are academy players. That means Ven is clearly an LCS-level talent. However, regardless, 10th place... Um, they, they have work to do. We'll see how they look with Lost and Ole when they finally can get them in the bot lane. But Stick Saying Chime should be able to do the job. Um, at least against FlyQuest and look better at least. The next team, and I mean, that I'm, I'm also not being very fair. Well, I am being fair to these guys. They have their roster. Uh, Immortals, ninth. They went 0-3, losing to CLG, Dig, and EG. Losing to C CLG and Dig are in their wheelhouse. They're not supposed to lose to those guys, especially with Pop PoE and Wild Turtle in the lineup. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, they looked bad. Um, hopefully they improve. Hopefully uh, Gyoto wasn't the reason why they were good. And, um, I mean, for their sake. But they came out flat this week. I mean, it looked bad. I'm not... I'm not a fan of Immortals only because I mean, I'm a hardcore optic fan. Um, tidbit, I'm an optic fan. But they looked bad. Uh, eighth. I have these guys moving up two spots. FlyQuest. Some people may say, why are they so low? They're two and two. They beat 100 Thieves. I mean,. One out of four games, 100 Thieves are probably going to lose. I mean, one out of, well, in, in 100 Thieves' case, one out of three games are probably going to lose. But FlyQuest has played four games. I mean, they were going to lose one. So, I mean, win one against a good team. So, beat Golden Guardians. Lost to TSM and C9. Um, the loss to TSM is a problem. TSM doesn't have their full roster out there right now. A lot of very young, raw players. And um, they lost to them, which is unacceptable. Beating 100 Thieves saves their, I mean, saves face. Otherwise, I probably would have had them, um, I may have had them 10th, to be honest with you. If they go 1-3 and three and only beat Golden Guardians, I'd probably have them 10th. Because, I mean, Golden Guardians has an academy roster. I mean, yes, like I said, I just went over how they have LCS-level talent on there. But FlyQuest has their real roster out. So your real roster has to be the Golden Guardian roster. And it should beat the TSM roster, and it simply didn't. Seventh, um, I'm interested to see how they do. Uh, I was not impressed with their moves this offseason. However, I think I think long-term CLG has a lot going for them in the bot lane. Luger and Poom are going to be causing some problems this year. I think they're going to be stealing some wins for these guys. Um, beating a hundred, beating Immortals, not a big deal. Beating EG and T, I mean, losing to EG and TL, I can't fault them for that. Kind of like how I went over my LEC power rankings yesterday and how you've got good teams and you've got bad teams. You, I'm not surprised when a bad team loses to a good team. I'm not surprised they lost to EG. EG has their full roster pretty much. They do have their full roster. Um, TL pretty much has their full roster out there. So losing to them, not a surprise. But um, beating Immortals is what they have to do. Beat these teams down here. These bottom uh, six, these bottom five teams here, if they win against the bottom five teams, they'll find themselves in the playoffs. Take care of win, take these wins, and maybe sneak a couple off these guys. There are bot lanes up there that they could beat in the right situation. Um, sixth. Now, this is because I 
I was not fair to these guys last week. I completely forgot River is a player. River is a thing. River is going to be on this team. River is very good. Um, now, I will say last year I was hyped about Jose Diodo, and we saw how that turned out for FlyQuest. Maybe the same thing will happen with River. Um, but as of right now, I'm pretty excited about what Dignus Tots has to offer with him and Neo. I, I mean, Blue. Neo is solid. <coughs> Excuse me. Neo is solid, but Blue is also someone I'm interested in. I, I think I've said already a couple times, I was hyped about Blue last year. Him and Vethio when they came in the LEC. And SK screwed Blue. So, um, I'm excited to see what Blue does in, with Dignitas. I think that he clearly just earned himself a Zoe ban every week, though. With how he performed against um, Immortals. Losing to TL. I mean, TL is up here. I'm not surprised. Like I just said with CLG, I'm not surprised when a team like that, when they beat them, that's noticeable. I mean, that is a surprise. But when they lose, it depends how close was the game. How did they play them? Fifth, I'm not going to drop these guys out. Uh, wrote TSM. Probably should have just finished writing this when I did that little break where I had to open the door for the cat. Um, I dropped them one. It's not fair. I mean, academy roster and all. I'm inter I'm excited to see how the, the two uh, kids they got from China do. Um, but, I mean, they're one and two. They beat FlyQuest. Good for the kids that they have on the academy roster. Um, we'll see how they fare against better teams going forward. <coughs> um, we'll see how the, the real roster does. I really don't have much to say because they don't have the real roster. Fourth, um, I mean, it's the first week. It's the first week, so is it fair to drop these guys this far? Maybe not, um, but they have the real roster. No excuse. I don't give them an excuse to lose to FlyQuest. Losing to FlyQuest is, is embarrassing for me, for them. Uh, beat TSM, beat Golden Guardians, you beat two teams with Academy rosters, and you lost to FlyQuest, who has a real one. We don't know, I don't know where they're going to be. Um, we'll see how they fare. I think they play Cloud9 before this is done, and that will decide where they fall in this top four. Um, but I was not impressed with them getting, I mean, losing to FlyQuest. Sure, you're going to lose a game here or there against a bad team, but, I mean, come on. Should be should be able to beat those guys right now. So, third place, EG. EG has their real roster. They're 3-0. People might say, why aren't they higher? Um, and they beat TL, so why would TL be ahead of them? They have their real roster. TL does not. Um, I think with TL having their real bot lane, I think they win or are very competitive. Um, EG looked really good, though. I'm really inspired by Inspired. Um, and I think that they have a very good team. Very good team. Sorry about all the uh, jump cuts in this video. Uh, second place, we have TL. So, TL moves up one. Uh, beat Dignitas, beat CLG, lost to EG. I mean, they beat who they were supposed to beat, and with a real team, real bot lane, I think they are very, very competitive against those guys. Um, so it's TL. I mean, TL is the most hyped team going into this year. We'll see how they do with the real roster when they get all their things worked out. So I'm not going to really fault them for that. C9, I give C9 a ton of credit. Um... I give C9 a ton of credit. They went 3-0 despite having an academy roster for the most part. Uh, they beat Golden Guardians FlyQuest and Academy TSM. We'll see how they do against a better team, a team that has real players on it. But nevertheless, as of right now, C9's first. Uh, they are 3-0, and uh, yeah, so... I really don't want can't really break it down more than that because the players that they have, I mean, Fudge looked okay in mid. I think he played Victor twice. I want to see what he does with something else. Um, 
But, I mean, we'll see how they do with, you know, when LCS, when LS is there and is, you know, drafting for them and, you know, in more control of the team. I mean, I'm not saying that he's going to drop out of first because of him or nothing. I'm just saying that, you know, we got to see how the five starters actually look together, including the coach and how he can have that team mesh together and from a culture standpoint. Um, but as of right now, they're first place. So thank you for watching my LCS Week 2 Power Rankings. I do Power Rankings for all four major regions every week, and I also recap all the games in a similar format on a whiteboard. I write down all the notes for the games noting the key time so if you want to go back and watch it you don't have to watch a 45 minute game that goes six to three in the lck you'd be like oh all that was decided was at 24 minutes there was a baron and there was a team fight and that's what decided the game so try and save you time that way thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like this video um subscribe if you want more content and any criticism is good criticism